caramelized pork belly and Strangford prawns with a potato and bacon sauce. He could have changed it altogether in the light of Nigel winning yesterday with a fish and meat combination, but he's looking at it in a different light. I thought your taste yesterday was exceptional. Thank you. I deserve to be up there with a bit. I don't know why I got all so sweaty then. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm hoping maybe I'll just rub off and I'll think, yeah, that was great. So Danny's hoping they'll go for his dish as well. He's happy to change the balance of the pork and prawns for the judges, but he still rates it highly. I love fish and meat yeah. together. I, I, I think it's a good you know, and, yeah. it's, and it goes particularly well, doesn't it, with the Dublin Bay prawns. But you, no, you've no, got no, no Dublin Bay here. Strangford Lock. Strangford Lock. Strangford Lock. Lock. Excuse you. But as Nigel's dish proved a few minutes ago, all the cooking skills in the world won't help you if your produce isn't absolutely first rate. Northern Ireland has the best seafood in the world. Second to none, and I stand by that. Better than Scotland. Ox, come on. Danny. You could pro. You're saying you've got, <laughs> you got better fish than Scotland? Well, you know what I mean? You've got to stand by your roots, don't you? <laughs> you know what I mean? You've got to be strong where How you're from. How dare you? You it's know, a it's a statement, isn't it? It's yeah. Yeah. Well, well, you know, you know what? Well, they should both be highly commended for being so loyal to their regions. You know what that cheeky <laughs> Danny just said in, in there? I had to pick him up on it. He says, Northern Ireland have the best shellfish in the world. Ah. Ah, you boys battle it out. You don't get to bring Birmingham into the well, city. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Toysley Canal isn't producing much scallops, that's all I'm saying. The only scallop we get down in Birmingham is normally got batter on the outside of it, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Scallops in batter? Hmm, interesting. But Danny's pan roasting his, and he's ready to serve them up now. He siphons the potato and bacon sauce onto the plates with a little jus before layering the pork belly and prawns, and then adds a few vegetables. You all right? In control. I feel a wee bit the tension creeps in, you know what I mean? But you're doing very well. Yeah, it's on. Hey. Looking good. His fellow chefs look thoughtful. Perhaps this dish will lift Danny up the rankings. OK, lads, as you see it, Please, smile and all, give it, give it all. I need everything to get this food in, you know what I mean? I want you to impress him, OK? It's harder every day in this kitchen, it, doesn't it? It is, the it is, is isn't it? Fierce. It is, it is. It is. It is. He's given it his all. He just has to hope that the judges will reward his efforts. Oh, I think right. he's worked very hard <laughs> on this dish. Have. And you it know. certainly looks more pork than prawn. I think it's much nicer than pork. Mm -hmm. But I think also what he's done successfully this time, <laughs> he's served it up differently, and he's crisped it up on either side. That's right. So right. you get that sort of crunchy feeling. Do you think that prawn and pork actually go together? No. no. You don't? No. Well, I don't think they're a marriage made in heaven, but I'm not finding it um, upsetting. But I do question the prawn. I just think it's not needed. I think it's, it, it's there because it's a good ingredient rather than yeah. because it's, uh, mm. it's necessary for the dish. If it's been through to the gherkin, the, the chefs there might feel very much the same thing. You know, what's this prawn doing here? Yeah. I think that everybody in the room would eat it with a great deal of pleasure, but they'd enjoy mm. t um, telling each other what's new about it, and so the British can cook a piece of pork, mm. you know, so, so what? what? But it doesn't mean they wouldn't really love eating it. Yeah. But I don't think you can remotely say that this actually represents the fierce cutting edge of contemporary no. cooking. No. So they weren't knocked out by Danny's dish, but his fellow chefs are scoffing it. I'm doing this just for you, Chris. Well, so normally you brush it to the side yeah. of the plate, yeah? So <laughs> I go straight for the cream and butter, <laughs> and I just run extra hard at the gym. Well, that's cool, huh? That's fine. Don't get these two in a row. <laughs>